Andrew Ruiz. So on my YouTube feed this morning, I noticed that Andrew Ruiz has done an interview with Joe Rogan on the Joe Rogan podcast. It's about an hour long. So for those of you who don't know, Andrew Ruiz is the heavyweight champion of the world. He is the unified champion with the WBA, WBO, and IBF belt. And another belt as well. I think it's the IBO, but I don't recognize that belt, so it's all good. Um, I'm just going to cover now, or I'm going to elaborate on some of the things they spoke about, just so you can get to know what the chance has been up to and a bit about its origin. So, the rematch is going to be in December. He announced that. He said um, he knows where it is, but he can't disclose the location yet. And he's told Joe Rogan where it is via text, but they can't announce it on the show. But that announcement is going to come out real soon. So expect an announcement maybe tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, of where the fight's going to be. I predict it's going to be in the UK, in Cardiff, but you never know. You never know. Um, in regards to the rematch, he's going to train in Mexico in a secluded, solitary um, area. So I'm assuming he doesn't want no one around, no spies around, no no one coming to camp filming or distracting him, whatever. He's going to be in the mountains in Mexico and he'll be doing old school training. So a little bit of weight to tighten up, but mainly like sparring, jogging, hitting the mitts. And he said the key for him is old school training and a happy camp. In regards to like money and fame, he said that you know the success from the, from with from beating Anthony Joshua has allowed him to buy a Rolls Royce. He's got a Rolls Royce now, and he's bought his fiance a G Wag. I don't know what a G Wag a G Wag is, but maybe you um American guys do. I think it might be like an American car. Now asked about PEDs, performance enhancing drugs in boxing. So he was talking about fights that he likes. And he was saying he likes Tyson Fury. He liked to fight him, and then he said he likes Dylan White as well. And they sort of spoke about Dylan White's recent problems with um with um with drug tests issues and whatnot. And he said, you know, um, when it comes to Dylan, maybe he took something. I don't know why he'd do that. But then he said, well, you never know. It might have been the other team might have tainted something, <laughs> some sort of um I don't know drink or whatever that that Dylan White was 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 using. And he, he said, you know, he hopes it comes out okay in the end. And then, this is why I think that um, Joe Rogan is a little bit sneaky. And maybe Ruiz might be a little, little bit naive. Because he seems like a nice guy. He seems like a simple guy. Yeah. And Rogan starts to say, you know, what do you think about PDs and boxing? And, and look at Andy Joshua. He just like, he looks like really built up and looks like a movie star. And, you know, he looks like he's on juice. And he kind of like lured Ruiz into the conversation. And Ruiz was like, was sort of like, yeah, um, I don't know if he is, but he could be. And then Ruiz wanted to say, well, I don't really want to go to the UK to fight because, you know, Andy Joshua could be on drugs and, and Dylan White is as well. That's, that's sort of like kind of what he was saying. Not, not the exact words, don't quote him, but if you, if you watch the show yourself, you'll see what I'm saying. And then Rogan said about AJ, he said, I don't know if that's natural. What do you think? Just to kind of like lure... Marie's back into the convo, and I kind of thought it was a little bit sneaky because obviously, like, you can get sued for saying certain things. Do you know what I mean? If you say a man's on drugs, you can get sued for that, um, especially in boxing. So um, maybe Marie's a little bit naive and needs to be a little bit more clued up in interviews. They spoke about Manny Pacquiao, um, the historic events. I just want to just salute Manny Pacquiao once again. Like literally, like last week we were talking about this whole Dylan White scandal. Update Dylan White has recently had um, a, a B test which has been cleared by VADA, so hopefully that will that'll come out good for him. But last week we've been talking about Dylan White and the scandal, but really, like Manny Pacquiao, age 40, had a historic victory. Age 40, beat a young man, a young hungry man in Furman who's 30, who he shouldn't have beat really. Furman should have stopped Pacquiao, you know, but Pacquiao just turned the clock back. So salute Manny Pacquiao and Ruiz and, and Rogan, they salute him as well. So big up to that. In regards to like um people who Ruiz looked up to when he was younger, he mentioned like Chavez, Chavez Senior, Morales, Pereira, Mike Tyson, also he really liked Fernando, Fernando Vargas. Remember Vargas? Uh welterweight champion back in the days. He had the same hair as Vargas and he told us that Vargas is now training fighters in Vegas and he's training his sons too, and his sons are really good. On to Ruiz's dad. He said that his dad really pushed him into boxing. Um and he was a very hyperactive kid and he used to be a, a destroyer as a kid. He'd, he'd destroy toys, he'd destroy, destroy all stuff in the house. So his parents called him the destroyer because he was a very hyperactive kid. So they got him into boxing. Um, they tried karate first, didn't work out for him. 
he was too hyped for karate, so boxing was the one. He said when he first went boxing, he was getting beat up. <laughs> the first time he went there, he wanted to quit. And his dad was like, no, you stick at this. You're only six and a half, but give it a year, and you'll be beating everyone in the gym. Eight years from now. And he said that's what exactly what happened. So, salute to his dad. He mentioned that um, they asked him if his, if his dad was a boxer. He said, no, nah, his dad was like more on the streets like a hustler. But his granddad used to train fighters and um, train boxers in Mexico. So, Ruiz got a bit of a boxing heritage there, you know? His granddad's a trainer. He then went on to speak about, so the rest of the time I'm talking about now, nah, I'm not going to like elaborate, I'm just going to just say real briefly what happened and you can just check out the Joe Rogan show yourself, yeah? So he then went to speak about um, other trainers like training with Freddie Roach and Abel Sanchez, past trainers. He mentioned how helpful Al Heyman is, because Al, Al, Al Heyman is his advisor. He mentioned Golovkin Triple G, how strong Triple, Triple G is and when they wrestled together in camp. They spoke about altitude training. Um... They want to speak about um, retiring, like what he would do when he retires. Training other fighters, training for the first Joshua fight, and also the knockdown in the Joshua fight. So when he got knocked down, that was, that was his first knockdown when AJ knocked him down, and, and obviously he went to knock on AJ as well. He went to knock down AJ as well. So um, yeah, how I, how I look at Andy Ruiz, very nice guy, always smiling, kind of like a shy guy, a simple guy. So when I say simple, like. With some athletes or some like fighters, like Mike Tyson, he's a historian, so he can tell you everything about the industry of boxing in regards to like fighters from like the the late 18th century, early 19th century, all the way up until now. And Mike's like an encyclopedia of the history of the sport, and also Mike's got a lot of that Custy Amato war psychology in his head, which he, which he will quote. So Mike will give you like a different interview, and then someone like Dylan White, he'll just cuss out this guy, that guy <laughs> with his with his Jamaican swag. Ruiz, very simple, kind of straight to the point. Nice guy though. But um, yeah, tell me what you think of the interview. I'll um, I'll post a link in the comment below to the Joe Rogan show with the Andy Ruiz interview. And um, yeah, what, what do you think of Ruiz? Do you think do you think he's a, a good champion so, so far? Do you think he's too cocky? Do you think he can beat AJ in a rematch? Do you think he can go on and be a dominant champion? Let me know. This is MSLB Mark Sterling Loves Boxing. I'm out of here. Have a good evening. Bless.